Recon SpreadSense is the industry's first blockage monitor for floaters. Utilizing the same acoustic technology developed for other recon monitoring systems, Recon SpreadSense provides reliable real-time blockage detection. Acoustic sensors installed on the back of each deflector listen to the material flow and send sound pulses through auditory tubes similar to a stethoscope. This data is collected by the Electronic Control Unit, or ECU, which displays the information on an iPad in the cab. If there's a blockage anywhere in the system, you'll know. This video will show you how to install your Recon SpreadSense system and provide you with installation tips from our support professionals. For a current list of compatible floaters, visit intelligentag.com slash Recon SpreadSense. The tools you will need in order to complete the Recon SpreadSense installation are Standard Wrench and Socket Set Cordless Drill with 5 16 Driver Flathead Screwdriver and Cleaning Rags Once you have collected the necessary tools, we will begin by installing the flow sensors. The flow sensors detect when the product is impacting the deflector. The flow sensors operate as the collection point for the auditory data used to determine product flow and their placement is important. Refer to Appendix A of the installation manual for the sensor placement diagrams for your floater. Each deflector will require one flow sensor. We will start by cleaning the deflector with the provided alcohol wipes. If there is a lot of dirt, a more aggressive pre-cleaning with the cleaning rag may be necessary. If the temperature is below 60 degrees Fahrenheit or 15 degrees Celsius, apply heat to the underside of the deflector. The sensor adhesive will not adhere in cold temperatures. Be careful not to overheat the deflector, as this may prevent the sensor from adhering properly. Next. Remove the protective backing from the sensor and align the sensor with the deflector according to the sensor placement diagrams in Appendix A of the installation manual. Make sure the port for the auditory tube is pointing up and firmly push the sensor onto the deflector. Verify that the flow sensor is firmly adhered to the deflector by pulling on the sensor. If it comes loose, reinstall the sensor with more force. Once the flow sensors are placed, begin attaching the auditory tubing to the flow sensors. On the Titan 810 FlexAir system, connect the standard size auditory tube to the sensor. On AirMax Precision systems, connect either a standard or a thicker auditory tube to the sensor. The type of auditory tube you use depends on where the sensor is located. On the center two ECUs, connect a thicker auditory tube. On all the other ECUs, connect a standard auditory tube. Be sure that the sensors are clear when folding the booms to avoid breaking them. The electronic control units, or ECUs, communicate the flow measurement data received by the flow sensors to the gateway. These are mounted on the booms and middle implement plate using two different mounting brackets. A flat plate ECU bracket used in conjunction with hose clamps is intended for mounting to the booms. A detailed placement chart can be found in Appendix B of the installation manual. Begin by aligning the flat plate ECU bracket with the bottom of the ECU and attach with supplied bolts, washers, and lock nuts. Position the bracket onto the machine using the auditory hoses to help guide placement and thread the hose clamps through the bracket and secure the ECU to the boom. If the hose clamp won't fit around larger structures, connect two hose clamps together to make a larger hose clamp. The C-channel bracket is used to attach the ECU to flat sections of the boom. Refer to Appendix B for a detailed illustration on placement.
Begin by twisting the lock nut onto the bolt and screw it upwards until it reaches the head of the bolt. Next, align the ECU with the bracket and screw the bolt slash lock nut through the two washers and ECU into the bracket until they're secured together. Position the bracket onto the machine using the auditory hoses to help guide placement and tighten the bolt head to secure the bracket to the machine. Screw the nut downward to secure the ECU to the bracket. It is crucial that you do not cut or shorten auditory tubing. This will cause inaccurate readings. Auditory tubes allow sounds to be transmitted from the sensor to the ECU. To connect them to the ECUs, remove the caps from the ECU ports that you will be using. Refer to Appendix B for a detailed illustration of the number of sensors per ECU. Connect the loose end of the auditory tube to an ECU port. You can connect it to any port, but we recommend connecting auditory ports in numeric order from left to right to make the configuration in the app easier. Clean one or two small areas along the path of each auditory tube toward the ECU where you will be placing tubing clamps. Then, remove the backing from the clamps and stick them on the recently cleaned areas on the implement. Place the auditory tubes into the tubing clamps and cinch the clamp to the smallest setting. Secure the loose auditory tubing and verify that the tubing is not kinked, impeding product flow, coiled in smaller than a 6-inch coil, at risk of getting pinched when the booms are folded, or compressed by zip ties if they are used. Refer to Appendix B for wiring diagrams for the steps below. When installing the harnessing, we suggest starting on the leftmost and rightmost side of the booms and working toward the center. Then, install the harnessing along the chassis towards the cab. To connect the ECU wiring harnesses, begin by connecting S3 of a 10-foot ECU harness to each ECU. If installing on a Titan 810 Flex Air, use S3 for two 20-foot ECU harnesses to connect to the two middle ECUs. Next, Connect S1 of each ECU harness to S2 of the nearest ECU harness to form a daisy chain on each boom. Do not connect S1 of the two centermost ECU harnesses until the next step. Then, connect S2 and S3 of the power can split harness to S1 of each of the two centermost ECU harnesses. Begin by connecting S2 of the gateway harness into S1 of the power can split harness. Insert can terminator plug into the two unused S2 ends of the outermost ECU harnesses. Make note that the S3 and S4 of the gateway harness are connected in Section 6. To connect the power harness, begin by connecting S2 of the power harness into the convenience outlet of the cab. Then connect S3 of the power harness to S1 of the gateway harness. Finally, insert CAN terminator plug into S1 of the power harness. The gateway is a computing platform that sends ECU data to the iPad through the Wi-Fi antenna. Mount the gateway between the cab and bins. The mounting location must be at least 8 inches or 20 centimeters away from the operator to ensure safe operation. Intelligent Ag recommends mounting the gateway to a beam between the cab and bin. To mount to a beam, position the gateway on the mounting bracket. The gateway can be mounted on the bracket in any direction, but the connectors should not face up when mounted on the beam. Secure the gateway to the mounting bracket using the provided screws, washers, and nuts. 
mount the gateway to the beam using U-bolts and lock nuts. Connect gateway harness to gateway. Connect S3 of the gateway harness into port A of the gateway. Connect S4 of the gateway harness into port B of the gateway. The Wi-Fi antenna sends information from the SpreadSense system to the iPad. First, mount the Wi-Fi antenna on the bin between the cab and bins, at least 2 feet or 60 centimeters away from the operator, and at least 8 inches or 20 centimeters from the gateway to ensure safe operation. Thread the Wi-Fi antenna cables through the hole in the mounting bracket and through the nut. Tighten the nut to secure the antenna to the bracket. Do not over torque. Mount the bracket on a beam behind the cab using the U bolts and lock nuts. If you do not have a beam behind the cab, find a beam within six feet of the cab that has a line of sight to the cab. Connect the antenna cables to the gateway. Refer to the image below for the associated gateway connectors. Cover connectors 2, 5, and 6 with the provided caps. Coil any loose harnessing around a hydraulic line or existing electrical wire and ensure that harnessing will not get pinched when you fold the booms up. Secure all harnessing to the implement using cable ties. To install the iPad mount, Connect the base of the tablet mount arm to the back of the iPad mount using the screws provided. Insert the ball of the rail attachment into the other end of the mount arm. Twist the knob on the rail attachment to tighten the mount. Mount the rail attachment to the cab's mounting bar or other desired installation location using the U-bolts provided with the rail attachment. Place the iPad into the iPad mount. In order to interface with the system, you will need to download and install the Recon SpreadSense app from the Apple App Store. To install the Recon SpreadSense app, connect your iPad to the Internet and tap the App Store icon on the iPad's home screen. Inside of the App Store, locate and tap the search icon in the lower right-hand corner. Type Intelligent Ag in the search field and tap the search button. You will notice we have multiple recon applications available to you. Today, we will be downloading the blue Recon Spread Sense app by selecting the blue Get button directly to the right of the blue Recon app icon. Tap the Get button. Enter your Apple ID and password if prompted. Ensure that you have power to the ECUs and gateway. The gateway's LED is green when it is done booting. Tap the settings icon on your iPad's home screen. Tap Wi-Fi, then connect to the IAS blockage network. Press the iPad's home button and open the SpreadSense app. Follow the on-screen prompts to begin configuring your system. This will complete your installation, and you are now ready to configure your Recon SpreadSense system for use. For instructions to configure and use Recon SpreadSense, see the Recon SpreadSense Operator's Manual from the SpreadSense app's Manual screen. You can also find our app configurations videos on our website, intelligentag.com support. Recon SpreadSense by Intelligent Ag. Sound technology for smarter farming.